Welcome to Forrester University's StormCon 2011 preview, webcast of our live webinar. My name is Beth Tompkins, and I am the Director of Education and Training at Forrester University, Forrester Media's new professional development division. This is a special webcast giving an inside look and Q&A for StormCon 2011 with Director Steve DeGiorgi. In this webcast, Steve will be giving a quick preview of StormCon 2011, and then we open it up for a Q&A session. As this is a webcast, we won't be taking any questions, but you may find that your question was answered during our recorded session, or you can contact Steve or Scott at StormCon.com. And with that, I would like to introduce Steve DeGiorgi. Steve's been part of the Forrester Media Inc. team for over 11 years and has served as the director of StormCon since its inception 10 years ago. This year, he brings to us some new tracks and some old favorites, which he's here to tell us about today. So with that, I'll go ahead and turn this over to Steve. Hello, everybody, and welcome to StormCon, the uh, preview for 2011. You know, hopefully we'll, all see, we'll see everybody in Anaheim this year in just a couple of weeks, and I'm really uh, pleased that you guys have taken the time to join me here today. You know, it's 10 years already, and that seems difficult for me to believe. In 2001, I had this idea for a stormwater conference. Ten years later, we are the country's leading educational forum for stormwater professionals, continuing to evolve, delivering quality educational opportunities, showcasing the leading products and services in the field, and offering you an unparalleled interactive conference experience. Our educational offerings this year continue to be extensive and cover all areas of stormwater management, including new tracks on industrial stormwater, erosion and sediment control, and an exciting symposium focusing ex exclusively on shoreline and coastal protection. In the dif difficult economic times we're all facing, and I won't even begin to go into what's happening on Wall Street, you know, it's more important now than ever to get in front of the providers of the equipment, expertise, and services you need for your stormwater plan. StormCon is the only conference in the world offering you this chance to directly interact with a highly representative, influential group of professionals that are passionate about what they do and the environment around them. More than 1,000 stormwater and environmental services professionals attend StormCon each year, and as the nation's leading forum for surface water quality, the educational curriculum is designed to serve municipal and government professionals on all levels. The conference this year features sessions on sediment and erosion control practices for contractors and techniques for special sites such as ports and airports. Industrial stormwater management and green infrastructure will also be addressed for the first time. There are non-technical stormwater sessions that will benefit those of you completely new to the industry, as well as advanced sessions for seasoned professionals. The opportunity to attend the most complete stormwater curriculum in the industry presented by leading practitioners, academics, consultants, and others from throughout the country really has no equal. You will learn about and discover the most current techniques and practices for meeting your stormwater compliance challenges from people with practical, hands-on, in-the-field experience. Very important. Our educational setting will afford you the opportunity to further your career skills in a very proactive conference environment. It is one that I've designed, and really it is quite different from many of the other events that you attend. StormCon's exhibit hall will showcase the country's leading companies offering the products and services necessary for your community stormwater plan, and the networking possibilities available to you during the program will be invaluable. If your position in your career falls under any of these job titles, the program will be absolutely right for you. The course content is specifically developed with these categories in mind. Quite a number of... Uh, of titles there. Course curriculum. These are the seven tracks that will be present, presented this year. BMP case studies, the BMP courses will review examples of structural and non-structural best management practices to achieve water quality goals. Our new green infrastructure track, it'll look at low impact development techniques as well as smart growth and other green infrastructure practices. Stormwater management addresses funding, public education and outreach, staffing, regulatory compliance, excuse me, and other elements of managing a successful program. 
Water quality monitoring reviews water quality assessment, monitoring and sampling techniques, and modeling practices. Advanced research topics essentially covers BMP performance, comparison, the evaluation of testing protocols and trends in stormwater research. The erosion and sediment control track is also a new addition to the curriculum. It looks at practices for, for uh, construction sites, advanced tree, uh, treatment systems, and long-term stabilization of streams, channels, and slopes. And industrial stormwater management, being offered for the first time, will address stormwater management and permitting for publicly and privately owned facilities, which will include treatment methods for industrial discharges and regulatory trends. You can find the complete conference program highlighted on the right on our website. Complete course descriptions, times, class locations, and presenters can be found in the program. The Preparing for the Rising Tide Coastal Protection Symposium, this is, a, again, another new addition to the program. We're co-locating it with Storm, StormCon this year, and it will focus on infrastructure protection in coastal regions in the face of sea level rise and potential shoreline changes. We're very excited about this program. Presentations will include an overview of the mechanisms that cause coastal damage, as well as the many ways coastal cities are preparing to counter those changes mapping and modeling tools for evaluating the impacts, as well as other tools for mitigating flooding will also be presented. In front of you is the course curriculum for the symposium that, uh, on Wednesday, all day. Pre-conference accredited courses, these are full day workshops that are offered on Monday the 22nd. Low impact development, this LID course presented by Larry Kaufman has been offered at StormCon for six or seven years now. It's very informative and thoroughly covers the many facets of LID and its integrated management practices. Stormwater pollution modeling, WinSlam. The WinSlam workshop hosted by AECOM is a hands-on, computer-based course that will demonstrate how to use the technology to utilize source area stormwater controls to maintain or create a hydrologically functional landscape that mimics a natural watershed's hydraulic functions, and I'm out of breath with that one. We have a new design and review series part two course, BMPs. That's Gerald Fifield doing that class for us. Some, some of you may know him, based out of Colorado. One day advanced level courses for those responsible and accountable for developing and or reviewing effective sediment and erosion control plans. It will also demonstrate how applying science and engineering principles can in increase the effectiveness and identify limitations of BMPs. Another new light imprint class that we're offering full day by uh, Paul Crabtree. The light imprint tool set addresses stormwater runoff through natural drainage, conventional engineering infrastructure, and innovative infiltration practices and has been designed to reduce community infrastructure costs. Pre-conference uh, certification courses, these are important. Um, they've been with us for 10 years, all these, uh, these classes, a couple of new ones in there, but they're very, very popular. They're on Sunday the 21st and Monday the 22nd. CPSWQ, designation that provides evidence of qualifications in uh, stormwater management principles and methods. The CPESC, C-E-P-E-S-C, -E this certification provides evidence of qualifications in erosion and sediment control principles and, and applications. CESWI, the Certified Erosion Sediment Stormwater Inspector, designation provides evidence of qualifications in the inspection of erosion, sediment, and stormwater BMPs on sites under NPDES Phase II jurisdiction. The SISEC class, an experienced construction as an experienced construction site inspector, you could take the next professional step by becoming a SISEC. This course will help you attain knowledge in the principles and practices of sediment and erosion control and their applicability to development of discharge permit documents, as well as inspection reporting skills. Another new course for us, CMS4S. According to the Certifying Authority in ViroCert, the purpose of this program is to certify individuals who are technically and ethically qualified to manage or coordinate nationally consistent EPA, MPDES, or MS4 programs, which are in compliance with local, state, provincial, and federal laws and regulations. Complete information on all the certification courses being offered Sunday, Monday, can be found on, uh, you know, online at stormcon.com.
You can also feel free to directly contact the certifying authorities with further questions. These courses are extremely popular and, and continue to be so. And this is where the fun begins at our networking opportunities. The exhibit hall reception hosted by SunTree Technologies is on Monday from 4 to 7 in the evening and will be fully catered. This is the kickoff to the program and a, you know, a great chance to network and catch up with friends and peers. Uh, in the past, uh, the half day for StormCon with exhibitors used to be on Thursday. That's now been moved to the front end of the program, you know, making it a little bit uh, more convenient for everybody. Our cyber cafes are open Monday through Wednesday afternoon. They're terrific meeting spots in the middle of each exhibit hall with seating uh, and PCs. They're hosted by Modular Wetlands and Triton Stormwater Solutions. So, you know, grab a coffee, catch up on email, and, and, and relax in our cafes. And you can see one of the photos on the bottom there. The gala reception hosted by Stormtrap is Tuesday evening from uh, 5.30 to 8.30, right in the uh, Platinum Ballroom. So entertainment will be provided. It's also fully catered. Uh, it's become really a tradition for us and is, is open to your families as well. So, you know, we hope to see you there. The luncheons each day are full buffet sit-down style for you for an hour, 12.15, Tuesday and Wednesday. They are hosted by Abtech Industries and Stormwater Magazine. They're also in, in, you know, an opportune time to take a break and recharge for the rest of the day. Uh, we don't bore you with presentations in there and, and, and speakers. It's uh, really a full hour. A host will say hello and off you go. It's, a, again, very, very nice time. And finally, the afternoon refreshment breaks, which are at 2.45 Tuesday and Wednesday in both exhibit halls. Uh, they're, again, nice power bars, you know, just some snacks to, uh, you know, get you going for the rest of the day. And they're hosted by Coltec and Stormwater Magazine. Some conference highlights for you, dates and location. Again, all you see on the bottom of the screen there, but August 21 to 25 in Anaheim, which is in Orange County. From this area in the entire Los Angeles Basin down to San Diego, I expect many professionals um, to be in attendance uh, in the stormwater and surface water area. Hotel, Anaheim Marriott. It's on Convention Way in Anaheim near Disney. Additional information, of course, can be found on our travel page at stormcon.com. Registration, uh, Expo Logic is our registration company. It has been so for 10 years. Many of you uh, may know Michael and Marge, who manage the registration on site for us. Uh, the desk is located adjacent to the uh, exhibit halls. Uh, their staff are very helpful and, and will answer any uh, uh, questions you have or will point you in any direction you need to go. The conference environment. You know, as I mentioned, the program is set up during the duration of the conference to give you some downtime and be able to relax a bit in between courses in our cyber cafes and, and networking areas. Scott Nania, who works closely with me, will be on site and there to help you with anything you need. Uh, I'm certain many of you may know him as well or, or have spoke with him this year. Questions, ask away. You know, here's my uh, contact information. If you need to get a hold of me, we're going to be opening up for questions now, so I'll pass control back to Beth for a couple of quick housekeeping items.